Hey, hey everyone, today we're going to be checking out an AI tool that's shaking up the search engine game. So we're going to be looking at GenSpark AI. GenSpark leverages AI to provide users with a concise and uncluttered way to find and consume different types of information online by removing the need to jump from web page to web page. So whether you're researching, studying, running a business, or just browsing, GenSpark streamlines that entire process. A major selling point of GenSpark is their Spark pages. Spark pages deliver unbiased and comprehensive info on any topic sourced and presented on the spot. For instance, if I search up how do solar panels work, and let's go ahead and search that, it's gonna give me what's referred to as the top information right at the top here. And as you can see, it has referenced 28 sources to do so. Now, the top info compiles the most relevant information from all of these sources while being as concise as possible. You don't have to click through more links. You don't have to hop onto more web pages to find your answer. Everything is presented and answered in a super concise manner right here. So everything is, is right here. And there's even a little diagram right at the bottom as well. Now, if you want to take things a step further, you can scroll down a little bit and you're going to find the Spark pages. So let's have a look at this one here, understanding how solar panels work. Spark pages dive even deeper into the topic at hand, leveraging images, videos, and diagrams to do so. So let's check that out. All the info is neatly wrapped up into one page. You're going to have your diagrams, you got images, you got data, all that good stuff is right here. And then if you look to the right here, you're gonna see the AI Copilot. So every Spark page has this feature and it lets you engage further by asking more questions or seeking additional details based off of what you're already looking at. So you can go ahead and engage with things a little bit more here. It actually has three follow-up questions that I might be interested in based off the topic here. So it's wondering if I wanna look into how do solar inverters work or solar panel installation tips. So if I go ahead and click on solar panel maintenance tips, it's gonna lay out the relevant information on that. So here I have my basic maintenance, I have cleaning tips, environmental considerations, inspection and monitoring. So all that is right here. And then I can continue to follow up with additional questions or I can ask questions myself. So it's all gonna be right here. So you can really just kind of go down the rabbit hole as far as you want, depending on the topic. By the way, getting started with GenSpark is super easy. You're just gonna come on over to GenSpark AI. Link is gonna be in the description. And all you have to do is come on over to the sign up with Google. So if you have your Google account, super easy. Just go ahead and click on that, click on your Google account, and then it'll get you going right away. Real quick here, when you sign up, you're automatically gonna be on the free plan. You can see what the free plan includes by coming on down over here. You're gonna come on down here and click on this gear icon looking thing. So go ahead and click that. And this is gonna show you what your plan includes right over here. All right, so we're gonna jump into some more features here with GenSpark. We're gonna take a look at the agents feature. So it's one of the main features here, as you can see on the left-hand side. So let's have a look there. And we're gonna have a mix of basic agents and advanced agents. So let's have a look at the basic agents first. A key selling feature here is the, the world's first mixture of agent system. And just taking a look here, we have general chat and generate image and then translation. For example, if we come on over to the general chat, this would obviously be very similar to pulling up chat GPT or Grok and then asking a question. It gives you an option of the language model that you wanna use. You can actually select the mixture of agents. Essentially what this is, is it's picking the best AI model for the job. So let's put that to the test here. So if I go ahead and look up how many planets are there and search, it's gonna go ahead and answer my question in a really cool way. It actually leveraged a couple of different agents here. So it used GPT-40, Claude, Gemini, Reflection. Now you can go into each one and see the answer for each one. It actually referenced what it believed to be the best agents for the job to give me my answer. So this is opposed to using any standalone model and it just uses that one model. Really cool that it's able to cross-reference between a bunch of different models here. We're gonna do the generate image one. And as you can see, we have a bunch of options here to actually generate our image with. So it's able to 
cross-reference those guys. We're gonna do the mixture of agents, so it's gonna pick the best model for the job. So I have a prompt here I wanna try out. We'll keep everything auto, auto prompt, auto size, and hit generate. Let's take a look here. So what I have here are four different versions of my prompt. I was going for this kind of this red garnish drink here. So you get four generations here. And as you can see, they're actually sourced from four different AI generators. And you can kind of go ahead and kind of pick the best one. So pretty cool stuff. All right, let's give the translation agent a go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the translation agent. I just have something that I'm gonna enter in the chat box that is in Spanish here. So let's go ahead and click on that. Before I do, I'm gonna keep the mixture of agents option rolling here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And just like some of the previous entries here, we have a reference of the different agents here that it believes is the best for the job. Google Translate is on top, which makes sense. And here's the translation. GenSpark, your AI for deep insights, real-time web access, content analysis, image creation, and impartiality on any topic. And of course, you can go back and check each selection if you would like. All right, if you're a researcher or student, you're gonna love this next one. Let's jump back into the agents and we're gonna have a look at the advanced agents. We have two advanced agents here. We have data search and cross check. Let's have a look at cross check. Cross check uses AI in real time to verify information against a significant amount of sources. It's not uncommon for cross check to leverage dozens of sources per output. If you have some sort of research topic or research question that you're looking to answer, you're gonna come on over to cross check. We're gonna look up on the evolutionary tree which is closer to humans, dogs or mice. Come on over here to cross check. The task has been submitted and running. Just an FYI, you can close this page and you are gonna get an email when the task is complete. So we're gonna hit okay. Okay, let's have a look here. Let's jump over to final summary and it's gonna tell us that after examining 21 sources, the evidence overwhelmingly supports the conclusion that dogs are closer to humans on the evolutionary tree than mice. Come back to the top here and we're gonna have our quick answer at the top here, which basically tells us that mice are evolutionarily closer due to their shared lineage with primates. And we're gonna come down here. You're gonna have your statement here. This is the statement that we entered at the beginning. So our statement's here. It's gonna break down the statement. It's gonna show us all the sources that it actually leveraged here. So you can go through each source one by one just to check it out on your own. I wanna highlight the reflection section here as well. The reflection summary is telling us that the summary effectively consolidates the evidence from various scientific studies providing a clear conclusion that dogs are closer to humans on the evolutionary tree than mice. So the reflection feature offers an analysis of the source data. This section aims to give users a deeper understanding of the answer, encouraging critical thinking by highlighting nuances, potential biases, or areas where more research might be needed. So the idea here is you can look at the reflection and it gives you an idea on potential areas where more research might be needed. So it's a really cool feature here. And the final summary here is at the bottom as well. Also wanna mention the interesting facts section. So out of the 21 sources examined, the Asian here has saved us one hour of reading time. So if you're looking for a resource here that's really gonna speed up that research time, this agent is gonna be doing all that heavy lifting for you. So whether you're into research or you just need to source some data for a project, the data search agent has you covered here. So data search gathers a ton of data from numerous sources and then it sorts out the results so you can find exactly what you're looking for. for for example here, let's have a look at the top 10 mobile games as revenue and the daily active users here. So here is our results here. There's a whole list of what we're looking for here. We can look at all the sources that we found here. I'm gonna actually go all the way down to final results. And it's telling me here that the, the table provides a detailed overview of the top 10 mobile games based on revenue and daily active users as of 2024. And if we scroll down here, we have a table here that it has outputted. So we have a Monopoly Go, Honor of Kings, PUBG Mobile, and it has all the relevant data there. All right, so there you have it. That's GenSpark AI. GenSpark is like a sidekick for diving deep into any topic, giving you the facts while cutting out all the fluff. Between the AI agents, Spark pages, or the Copilot feature, you're getting the full story all in one spot with any topic. Whether it's for school, work, or whether you just wanna know something at a deep level, GenSpark can make life much easier for you. So don't forget to check it out. Link is going to be in the description. Give GenSpark a go and see how it can transform the hunt of information for you.